Rock Lee, when it comes to top five or even top three characters in OG Naruto, he was 99% of everybody's list. A character whose hard work and dedication to his crafts was second to none and gave himself literally man-made potential. Against Ace, brother of Luffy, son of the King of Pirates, crew member of the White Bed Pirates, who had crazy raw potential already, I just needed to tap into it. Both characters, at the end of the day, never tapped into their full potential. Welcome, welcome back to AETW, or ES2 Weebs. And today's Who Had A is going to be Who Had More wasted potential and like the intro said the characters that are featuring in today's episodes are rock lee and ace now with rock lee he was easily one of the best characters in og naruto in terms of strengths in terms of character development and just a well-written character in general from his unbreakable bond with my guy to his captivating fights, he was so relatable in almost every sense possible. I personally wish he had his own anime because that was just how good of a character he was at the end of the day. In OG Naruto, highlights the OG Naruto. OG Naruto ends and after a while, she could then starts airing and we see Lee just get sidelined so bad like so 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 bad and it was so annoying to me because why build up a character so much just for us to see him in some fillers and some scenes here and there in the anime it was like it was like it wasn't even the same rock lee that we saw in the og naruto the only because they honestly felt like two completely different characters because we never saw him peak we never saw him go further than the guy with potential and he just kept on deteriorating and then we look at his competitor ace who was the second out of sabo and luffy obviously the trio which is sabo ace and luffy who was the second out of them to set out to see ace who set out with his goal being to conquer the ocean and all that now saw himself, you know, rising to stardom quite quickly because he led the speed pirates, you know, declined an offer to be a warlord. Um, eventually joined the White Bears crew as well. Had mastered I think amendments. I think he mastered that one as well. And by twenty had a bounty of five hundred and fifty million berries. And some might say that even before he died, he didn't he he didn't live up to his potential since Luffy became a Yonko at nineteen. But Ace's goal wasn't to become the pirate king. He was never really into that was never really his drive into like to set when he was setting out to see he was help he wasn't like hell bent on it like Luffy was. And again, Ace became a member of the white beard pirates and led one division now ace's objective at that point to take a drastic turn because he would shift his attention or his um i need to breathe man i need to breathe for it i don't breathe i don't thinking like a breath to how long man <laughs> damn it <laughs> so yeah yeah so he would shift his attention to protecting Whitebeard and obviously his fellow crew members. So yeah, Ace didn't have the responsibility of being a captain like Luffy did, which made him not put as much effort he could have into getting stronger. Because if Ace, if Ace actually survived Marineford, maybe it would have been Ace who got the two years training since some sense of responsibility would have been placed on his shoulders if he survived Marineford. If because if anything he would have wanted to get stronger so that you know he wouldn't get captured again and so he could protect Luffy. So Ace ob obviously had lived up to a good amount of his potential, even though he could have obviously achieved like way more, but still he wasn't wasting his first few years out of, out at sea. He did do like 
he still did a lot of bits. Like, you can't even deny that he still went far. So now, who had more wasted potential between him and Lee? And because of the fact that Ace died, Legit was turned into a donut and Lee was still alive. A living, like, he just, he just, he, it would be better off if they killed him. But, but Lee was still alive. It just has to be Lee. Because we were actually seeing Bro in the anime. At least with Ace, it was always going to be a what if kind of situation, a what if kind of thing. What if he survived? What if he didn't survive? All that. But with Lee, we saw him waste every single bit of his potential. We saw him deteriorate every soul in ship then. So yeah, that's it for that's just it for today. So had a um that's it for today guys. Go like and subscribe. It's been your boy AETW. Catch you guys later.